What's up, y'all? Good afternoon. Welcome back to another episode of Chasing Rob, Dallas edition. Uh, this morning, I went to a few spots, actually, already. Got a, got some footage. I went to... Damn, where did I go to? Hot Topic, Toys R Us, and another Super Target. So I'll show you guys the hunt on that real quick. Yeah, so there you go. Not much at Hot Topic, but there was a lot of stuff I haven't seen because I haven't been to a freaking Hot Topic. Damn, in like, I want to say like two months. It's been a minute. Uh, so a lot of exclusives, but I mean, no chases or anything like that. They did get the speeders. They got the, you know, the Black, Black Friday R2-D2 joint, all that stuff, so. Pretty good shit. Found some of those vintage carded figs, so I hid them, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, I wanted to text some of the guys in the Alliance and then also um, ask a few people that I know that might want it. So I hid, I hid the Wolverine, I hid the Pizza Spidey, and the Black Widow. The Black Widow I'm debating because that's the one, only one that I wanted out of the... that I don't have out of the set. So... Still debating if I want it, so I hid those motherfuckers. The reason why I was hiding this shit is because I fucking forgot my wallet. So I couldn't even really buy anything, of course. So I had to hide that shit. So, what else? That's about it. That's all I found. I'm hit up this GameStop, check it out, see if they got anything good. After that, I'm going to go to Walgreens again. Got to pick up some of the... some That Hobgoblin, a viewer of mine asked me to pick it up for him so and he asked me to go check a couple other things that he's seen in my videos so I'm gonna go scoop those up for him so I'll see you guys inside this GameStop all right everybody so GameStop they had like a bunch of stuff but no um, no chases pop wise I didn't want to record in there because it was two cops up in there <laughs> that was a little not I guess you could say shy or embarrassed to to record up in there. I look suspect. Never seen me before here in Dallas, so, you know, I didn't want him to question me. All right, everybody, so just got done with Walgreens. They still had what I was, well, what one of my viewers was looking for, so I picked it up for him. Man, as much as I want these, but, yo, this is badass, man. So I picked up the Hobgoblin. Course. He was he wa he wanted me to check if they had electro, but they didn't have electro. And then he also wanted 
silk. So this is fucking dope too. Yeah. These are two badass figs. So pick those up for him. $14.99. They were on sale. So I got you, brother. And then I picked this up for the wife. She she sent me out too on a hunt. Got this little I don't know, makeup set. Whatever. And that was 50% off too. Yeah, so. Save some money at Walgreens. It's pretty dope. Anyways, I think I got time. I'm gonna go run over to Dallas Vintage Comics. So or vintage toys. So let's go check that place out. So I'm here at Dallas Vintage uh, Toys. I don't even know where it is. There's no sign on any of the the buildings. So I'll have to try and search for it. So wish me luck.
Crystal Man Productions. Yo, this toy store, Dallas Vintage Toys, this place was a fucking amazing dude. <laughs> Holy shit, I was like in heaven of fucking toys. That, I'm going to include it with my hunts for today, but damn, this store like deserves a video of its own, but it's the best toy shop I've ever seen. Like, their vault alone, their vaulted toys that they have. Every single one is graded and shit. Oh my God, it was, holy shit, man. The place was fucking amazing, dude. They had Hot Toys, Sideshow Collectibles, NECA, SH Figure Arts, Play Arts, like everything, you name it, all the vintage shit, He-Man, G.I. Joe, Ninja Turtles, Damn, I can't, I can't even think. Star Wars, you know? Like, just... Holy crap, this fucking store. It was hard to find. Damn, dude. It was worth it. Holy shit. I'm gonna go back there again, because there's a couple of things there that I was debating on. Um, you probably saw in the footage I had in hand the Mezco uh, 112 um, Superman from Batman v Superman. I, I want it. <laughs> So I, I held it actually for the maybe half the time I was in the store and I was just looking around. Then I went to go look at their hot toys again just to see prices and everything. Actually, most of the stuff is really like basically retail except for, you know, the obvious ones that should be more money because they're, they're valuable. But like a lot of their Marvel Legends were no more than $24.99. So not bad. And there was a particular Hot Toys figure that I was looking at. It's the the Joker from Suicide Squad. And it's the one with him in his uh, straight jacket. And it was only $179.99, something like that, or $174. And online it's still, at, you know, at Sideshow Collectibles, it's still, I think, $219. So $40 off pretty simple fig so I, I can understand why it's not as expensive as some of the hot toy stuff that they have there but it's a pretty dope fig so I was looking at that they had Jarrell PV he just picked up General Zod Jarrell's freaking fig is amazing looking too just that face sculpt on um, Russell Crowe it's like 
spot on, spot on. I've never seen any Hot Toys figures in person. So, <laughs> yeah, it was, it, for me, it was like fucking going to Disneyland, the Disneyland of toys. That place was fucking badass. If you guys are ever in the Dallas area, I definitely suggest to go to Dallas Vintage Toys. Shout out to Cincy Nerd for fucking coming here when he came a couple months ago. If it wasn't for me watching his videos and being subscribed, I would have never thought of going to this store. Oh, man, holy shit. That, this, it makes my trip. I'm definitely going to go back. I got to bring my friend back, my best friend. They had a lot of loose figures. I mean, there's just so much, so much shit in there. It's a small store, but damn. Holy crap, man. Amazing. I'm glad I fucking decided to come out here. I was really debating, you know. So I'm... Shit. I'm definitely going back before I leave. And I might pick up either that Joker or that Superman. That's something... One of those two things are, is what I'm going to come out with when I head home. So hopefully it'll still be there. I think it, it may be. Doesn't seem like they get a lot of traffic in. Man. That's gonna end the video for today. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next time.